Hi and welcome to my continuation of my series of watching and uh, reviewing all the uh, the Mel Gibson movies that I have on DVD. And also this is my continuation of my series of watching and uh, reviewing some of my favorite actor and actress movies that I have a bunch of their movies on DVD in my DVD collection. Okay? Well, uh, and yes, uh, Mel Gibson is one of my favorite, uh, actors of all time. Okay? So for this month, I'm gonna try to, um, review all the Mel Gibson movies that I have on DVD in my uh, Mel Gibson DVD collection. Okay? So I, 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 did, I did grew up with Mel Gibson in my childhood. Watching, watching, you know, Passion of Christ that he directed, watching Forever Young, a couple of times, and when I was a little kid, and watching Legal Weapon, okay? Legal Weapon would be one of my, uh, in my top 10 favorite uh, movie franchise. Up there with Godzilla, uh, Game Bond, Indiana Jones, okay? Um, so, um, now, um, so the other day, uh, I sat down and watched Mad Max and The Road Warrior. Both of those movies back to back. And I already reviewed, reviewed, uh, reviewed Mad Max, the original one. And I, I watched it for the very first time. So that review is already up there on my channel. So you can go check that out. Um, and so now I'm re reviewing, um, the World Warrior, okay? So, um, let me know in the comment section below, uh, are you looking forward to, uh, the new one coming out called Furiosa, I think I'm very cool, okay? And a lot of people, a lot of people are, uh, asking questions like, is Mel Gibson gonna be in it? Is it gonna be a sequel or a prequel? Is Tom Hardy gonna be in it? Okay, um, okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna be honest. Um, uh, uh, the other day when I watched the original one, the 1979 one, that's the first time I've ever seen it. Okay, I never seen it since then. Okay, the Road Warrior, uh, that was the second time I've seen it. Okay, before then, I haven't seen, watched it since like 10 years ago. Okay, um, um, okay. Uh, right, right before, uh, the uh, Fury Road came out, I watched The Road Warrior, and Mad Map, uh, Beyond Thunderdome, and then, then went and saw, uh, Fury Road. Okay? And I, I don't know if it, if it was like a few months, or a week, or, or a year before, or something. Uh, it, it was close around when, uh, Fury Road came out. And, and I was kind of a little sad, disappointed. I wanted to watch all of them in order. Okay. Cause I try, I always try to watch, uh, uh, you know, like TV shows or, or a movie franchise in order. Okay. And then after I watch a uh, like TV show or, or a movie franchise like a million times, then I go back and, uh, pick out and watch my favorite, favorite one. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, and then another, uh, on another side note, a long time ago, when, or in 2015 or 2014, whenever they released the Fury Road trailer, I thought, I, I thought like, what? This is dumb. A dumb, stupid movie. Same thing when I, when I saw the trailer for John Wick. The guy going to say over someone killing his dog. Yeah. That's how I reacted to those two movie trailers. The John Wick and Fury Road. Okay? Um, and I, and I got the whole, uh, um, movie right here, okay? So I don't know if I can see it or not. The only thing I'm, the only thing I like about the new one, uh, in the movie, is gonna have Chris Hemwood in it, okay? And I like it when, when you have people, or actors, and TV stars that kind of like mix cast, or, or, you know, that's all they know for. Wait, I'm, if I'm saying it right, yeah, and and they start 
to get out of that uh, one role that people are uh, known them for, and and I, I kind of root for them. Okay, so it's gonna have Chris Hemsworth in it. So yeah, so if I go see it, it be it be me just, just going to see it just for Chris Hemsworth because I like I like him as um, Thor in the MCU. Okay, uh, okay. He wanted the, he wanted the better region. The MCU was good, and they butchered him and the uh, Thor: Love and Thunder. Okay. Um, but hey, okay, enough of that. Uh, let me let me uh uh review uh the Rogue Warrior. Okay, and also I would say real quick uh, before the new one comes out, I'll have uh, uh upload all my review of the Mad Max movie and some of the other um, Mel Gibson movies that I watch and review. Okay, so the Rogue Warrior. But let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts and opinion on the Rogue Warrior. Okay? So, um, Mad Max 2 or Mad Max the Rogue Warrior, okay? Um, it's said, just by Jordan Miller, um, came out December 24th, 1981, uh, 95th minute. Five million with the mate, uh, a made thirty-six million. Okay, the film will release on December twenty-fourth, nineteen eighty-one, to widespread critical acclaim. The particular play, Gibson performance, the music score, cinematography, action sequence, costume design, and following use of dialogue. It also a box office success in the film. Post top. With lipstick and pump help popularize genre in the film and fox fiction. At the 10th Saturn Award, the film won Bet International Film and were nominated for five more awards. Bet Director, Actor, and Gibson won Bet Performing Actor and Bruce Spence, Bet Writing, and Bet Costume for and Wiley Hell at both. One of the best action movies of all time. And one of the greatest sequence ever made. A fan club for the film and World Warrior theme action and continue in the 21st century. Proceeded by Mad Max in um, 1979. The film was followed by Mad Max Beyond the Dome in 1985 and Mad Max Fury Road in 2015. Okay? Um, the film takes on a community of celebrated moves to defend themselves against and work. Ruby, Bad, uh, okay, a Western Frontier move, the Mad Mad role at Hardy Man to the Dungeon to protect the Seller, help them discover humanity, okay, and, uh, they, they try to defend, uh, you know, the gang members, uh, the people in the, in the wasteland, they're trying to come and steal their, their oil. Okay? And, uh, Bell, uh, Gibson tells them, you know, Mad Matt, become friends with them and help them fight off, uh, the bad guys, the people in the white man. Okay? Um, uh, yeah, for a while it was slow. Uh, uh, he, 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 he finally died with, with like the little, uh, bow and arrow gun, um, and, and it got a little slow, um, it had this little, it had this little, uh, kid that don't talk, the little, the little howling, uh, okay, uh, they, uh, the people in the wasteland, they threatened, say, hey, if you, if you don't give us the, the oil and come live with us in the field, we're gonna take it, take it from you and kill you. And then, so basically, they got to defend themselves. Kinda like, kinda like, you know, the animals. So they got to defend themselves and defend their oil. And they have a, they, they have like this, uh, school, school bus for the door. 
before the gate. Okay. Uh, I thought that was cool. The only two parts I didn't like about it was, um, it was kind of slow. Uh, the kid used, used like a boomerang and cut off the, the guy's finger. And I thought that was kind of silly. And when, when it got cut off, it didn't show no blood. And also, also, the first came into the movie, it showed everything you saw in the first movie. I'm like, what? I'm like, why? Cause so basically, you don't even need to watch that first movie. Cause everything in the first movie, they showed you in the, in the first 10 minutes of the, uh, the world going in. And those two things hurt this movie. I could give, I could give this movie like an A minus or A plus, but that's what hurt the movie. Okay? Uh, okay? Uh, the best, the best part of the movie is like the last like 40, 50 minutes of movement and fighting and trying to uh, uh, get Mel Gibson character in your map map and, 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 and they're fighting. It's real entertaining. Okay? When you have a good action like that for like 30, 40, 50 minutes in the movie, it's going to keep you engaged in the movie in the movie, and you don't want to turn it off. Okay? I'm going to be honest. I don't need I don't need action for two hours straight like John Wick. Okay? So that's when it'll, 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 it'll get Maple Leaf, and I'm like, okay, okay, this is, this is Maple Leaf, and it's overbearing, okay, you got, you got, you got to have some, uh, some part where you can breathe, okay, nobody's going to fight for two hours, okay, I don't think, uh, uh, Captain America don't do it, um, uh, Dave Bond don't do it, or, or, yeah, I would like to see Hulk fight a lot, but I don't, I don't need a two hour Hulk smashing. Or Game Bond fighting two hours. Okay? But, um, that's the only problem I have with, uh, John Wick. They, 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 they make him fight too much. And then, and then the way they kill him off, or kind of like, that's the way you kill John Wick off? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, but this is really good. Uh, I already told you my true negative with this movie. Uh, it starts a little slow, but it gets real good. Um, so, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give this one, like if I would have on tomatoes, I'll give it like 89, 90, 91, somewhere in there, I'm gonna give it like an 8. Okay? So, um, that's it. Thank y'all for watching. And, uh, so, that, Mad Map Beyond Thunderdome is 107 minutes, and Mad Map Fury Road is 120 minutes. I can't watch both of them in the same day. Uh, I could, but I'll be too tired. So, I'll have to, I'll have to watch one, and then wait like a day or two later to watch the next one. Uh, Fury Road. Okay? So, thank y'all for watching, and let me know, uh, what's your favorite out, out, out of the, the four. And, uh, are you looking forward to Furiosa, the new one? Where Annie Taylor Joy and Chris Hemworth. Thank you, and God bless.